fantastic. Armin? <laughs> uh, that's a good way to start things off. Do it, narrator. Welcome, game developers and poppers, to Doug Teach's UE4. Yes. Man, it has been two whole weeks. Yes, it has. Uh, sorry, everybody. Like I said, I don't know if I said this, but, like, yeah, the schools had me teaching, so I had to, like, take two weeks off of doing these in order to uh, officially teach. So, yeah. Uh, today we're going to be doing the Storm Talon gunship. We're basically going to have this thing fly, and then when we hit, like, left shift, we'll have it hover. This is going to be super fucking simple and super bare bonesy. Uh, by that I mean, well, let me put it to you this way. I'll just show it right now. As you can see, I'm using the mouse to basically fly, but when I, uh, hit shift, I can strafe, and I can move forward using the WASD keys. You can still use the mouse to turn, um, if you don't, if you wanna, like, set it something else, we can, but, like, um, anyway. So let's, let's set this thing up. First things first, I'm gonna right-click, Blueprint Class... Uh, this will be a type character. I'll just call this Storm Talon 2. SM. I'll just call it SM. Storm Talon Space Marine. Next, uh, you know what? I'm just going to double click here. I don't feel like looking, looking for it in the content browser. I'll just search for it. I'll grab all of this. Uh, I'll grab, yeah, I'll grab all this. Click, drag it, drag it into here. Here is the beautiful Storm Talon. Is it textured? Uh, I think so. Yeah, it should have its texture. Uh, again, you can just go to my website. Oh, shit, I have to I have final show that off. God damn it. Uh, in house. Uh, downloadable 3D models. And there is your Storm Talon gunship. You can just download it. So, I'm gonna grab all this and make this a child of the main static mesh. Why? So that way when we scale one, oh yeah, all of them can be scaled. Mm -hmm. Scale us all down. Scale it down to clown. Zoom in. Let's move this to the bottom. And then let's rotate this 90 degrees so that way it's facing the way we want it to face. Yeah, that should do it. Finally, we need to add a camera. So what kind of bells and whistles were you, like, saying? Oh, like, uh, if you want a slower stop when we hover, and if you want, like, these to actually rotate, you know, we'd have to have a timeline, shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So that's all we need to do here. Let's go into the event graph. However, we'll need, uh, two variables. A float, that's a turn rate, and a, a bool, that's true-false. So let's do that. So the first bull we're going to call it is flying. If we're not flying, we're hovering, obviously. And the second one, we're not a macro. Shit, I don't want a macro. The second one we're going to do is uh, base, base turn rate. And this will be a float. And I'll set it right now. Something su super small like two. Serious? Yeah. Why? Just character's so small. Ah. Now we're not done. We have to go into character movement. Make sure that your default is flying. And that's all. That's the only thing I said. After that, we go to event begin play. Use control rotation. Yeah, we want to check that. I think I use control rotation pitch. And set that. And did you use um, did you use the other one? Roll? No. No, I didn't. No, you didn't? No. Nope. And I don't need this overlap event. Uh, here we're gonna get is flying. We're gonna check and see if is flying is set to true. If it's set to true, which it should be by default, if it's not, let's check that box now. If it's true, we want to make sure that uh, we uh, add movement input, yeah. Scale value is going to be set to 1, world direction we have to get forward vector. In rods, yes, we're going to get his reference to self. 
then we're going to get actor rotation. Plug that in, and then we plug that into world direction. Let's move this out. Let's move this out. And let's move this out. Unless, on false, we're just going to set this scale value to zero. There's more to it than just that, because when we hit left shift, we also have to stop immediate movement. Why don't you do that in the event check? Because we don't want it going off every tick of it. We only want it going off one frame. Huh. Ah. Uh, so that said, uh, what else do I need? Oh, right, the controls. So let's do left shift right now. Okay. We're gonna use we're gonna, uh, on press. We're gonna do flip flop. All right, because since it's true, yeah, we make it false. Is flying is to be set to false. Then we get our character movement, and we stop movement immediately. What's the difference between uh, immediate and active? Uh, um, active is a slower, st uh, slower, but it's not as slow as you want it to be. Ah, yeah. So then we take this and plug that into B. Make sure it's make sure it's flying is set to true. Now, um, the fuck was it called? Turn. Okay. Then I had rotation. Look up. Yep. Add controller pitch. Add controller yaw. Okay. So let's go here. So on turn. Fuck. We right, we right click say turn because we need the turn event, the axis event. We want to multiply this by a float, and that's going to be base turn rate. And then we. Add control ya input. And then we have to do look up. Look up. We basically copy that. Oh, we basically copy this. Plug this in. And then add control pitch. Plug that in. Let's move this down. Okay, one quick question. Why why base turn rate? Okay, so you have to for those who don't understand what axis value is, it only goes one one of two routes. One or negative one. Now, if you just want to leave it as is, technically speaking, you don't need base turn rate for something as small as this. Really? Yeah. Because one and negative one, this will affect this uh, as is pretty damn hard. Um, however, if you're going for like life-sized stuff, one and negative one, that won't do much. So you need to multiply it by something in order to actually make the movement faster. Hence the base turn rate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what else do I need? Um, move right? Yeah. Move right. Yep. But we also have to check to see if is flying is set to false. Why? Because we don't want to strafe while we're flying. We want to make sure we can only strafe while hovering. Now, so we want to add movement input. And um, target is going to be ourselves, world direction. Uh, we get for no right vector. And then get actor rotation. And then I'll just do the self. Do we necessarily need the self? No. So then we just plug. Like I said, we can plug it in here. Um, you know what? I will plug it in here. Ah, no. I'm going to multiply it by base turn rate. Okay. Base turn rate. Uh, and finally, I think move forward. Ah, uh, do I want to move forward or Oh, we can still ascend and descend. Yeah, all right, we're doing that. Uh, move forward. You know what? I'm going to do this, too. Uh, not turn. Turn can stay as is. Look up. That's a different story. Up. Blup. Blup. On true, we wanted to do that. On false, we wanted to do nothing. Isn't there going to be a trade-off? Yeah, that means the camera won't move either. It will only move 
uh, horizontally, not vertically. Is that a good thing? Yeah, trust me. So we want to make sure jump, we, we're, because we're going to make it go up and down via space and control. All right. So we get our con we get our actor rotation from ourself. We get a full, uh, we get forward vector. Uh, add movement input. And we're going to multiply this by a float, and it'll be by base turn rate. Get base turn rate. Plug it in, plug it in, and then plug that into there. Now, what we want is we want to actually move vertically upward and vertically downward. To do that, to ascend and descend, I'll just uh, type in uh, control, left control. That'll, that'll be our descent key. Space bar, that'll be our ascend key. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. So. We add movement input. And I'll just say world direction. I'll get this. And then I'll just get the up vector. Because that'll be in the world direction. Scale value, I'll just put... I'll put it 3. See what happens. You've never tested it? Nope. We uh, copy this. Plug this in. And let's just make that negative. Control B while I'm in here to get this out. Uh, that could stay. I don't really care what the fuck it does. I'm just gonna move this here. And I'm gonna move this up. Then I'm gonna go into here. I'm gonna alt click out of you. Create a reference to the Storm Talon Space Marine. File play. Hey, look at that. We're flying. And if I hit Shift, as you can see, I stopped the movement immediately. I can't rotate the uh, camera, but look at that. Hit shift again. There we go. Hit shift. Control. Let's move forward a little. Space. Shift. There we go. Um, I'm not happy with the with the scale. Yeah, me neither. Let's let's uh, fuck with that a little bit. Instead of negative 3, I'm just going to put negative uh, 30. And then I'll do this on 30. See what happens there. That's no, not better. That's no good. Oh, yeah. And then I hover. Descend. I really think you should have at least the movement input, or at least, um, I think you should have the... Yeah, I know what you're saying. You don't want me to... You actually want the vertical, the verticality. Yeah. Alright, let's take that up then. Let's just take out the branch. So you can still, like, move... So you can still rotate the camera completely. So let's do that. Shift. You can see I'm rotating upward now. So why have the hover function to begin with if you can actually like move if you can like move normally? Oh, you mean like oh why have that? Oh, you don't necessarily like if you hover because you can still hover. You can just like um, if you're adding the instead of having this you can tone it down something fierce so like you can just instead of uh, multiplying it by value you just divide it so let's divide by base turn rate you'll be able to, you'll be moving hella slow see what I mean oh yeah you know, actually yeah I can see the difference yeah should, 
You should probably do the same with the uh, with the other movements. Yeah, yeah. You can. Um, it's up to you. But yeah, you can just uh, divide it. But more or less, this tutorial is done. If you guys want the bells and whistles, because eventually we will get around to firing uh, the twin linked assault cannons slash having the missile pods fire and lock on to targets. Um, but if you want to, like, say, have like a timeline, you're gonna add a timeline, basically have this rotating. Uh, and having a slower stop instead of just a sudden stop, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, in any case, uh, yeah, uh, but that's the end of this tutorial. Um, next week, next week, right? Unless I have something important to do. I don't think I have anything important coming up next week, so it should be next week. Uh, yes, I think I'm okay next week. Next week we'll actually tackle the Predator tank because it's a multi-seated vehicle uh, and uh, you can actually have different turrets so that means we have to both we have to basically attach them and it's gonna be it's gonna be fucking weird let me, let me tell you uh, it's gonna be really fucking weird um, but yeah uh, and it here narrator and there you have it game, game developers and boppers tune in next time for Doug teaches UE4 yes.